Hello, um, hello everyone. My name is Horacio, and uh, I'm gonna show you a quick tip about how to uh, use alias aliases uh, in the Create React app without uh, ejecting. Like I just encountered this problem in one of the projects that I'm working on, and I just wanted to share uh, what I did to solve it. So uh, let's go to the screen. So you see here we have a basic Create React app. I'm just gonna walk you through the code. Um, so now it's working, but let me just delete this file because this is the file that is actually making the magic happen. So we have the root component. The root component is loading a home uh, component that is coming from source home. You see that I'm not using relative paths. I'm just using the source as the main entry of this import and then you see in home i have uh, one folder called components another another file called index.js so in this index the only thing that i'm doing is uh, uh, exporting home as a named export from the page and page has a default export it's just a simple button that it's simple component nothing fancy here but the, the important part is that you, instead of doing this app and then components and then, uh, yeah, here, uh, you can get rid of this and then just go directly to app. Like that's, yeah, I think it's, it's better, uh, it's readable and, and and it's it's important and uh, now in this project is uh, pretty simple but it's uh, you imagine in your big project is it can get a lot of like uh, da 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 thing and I, I really don't like it so uh, as I show you I remove one m file so if I do yarn, yarn start now with this imports like this um, eventually it will fail because they don't know like they cannot resolve this uh, source home. So what you have to do is to create a new file called .m and this file is going to be read by uh, React Scripts. So what you can just put here is uh, not that, but this uh, node path. Let me just copy and paste. So you have to do node path and, and tell the node path to be the this the root um, um, directory of this uh, project so you can do source uh, you can go to public well I don't think you, you want to go to public but you can do it and with that file then you can save and you can yeah, I think it's not gonna run because it needs to uh, read that file from the beginning so you need to stop your server and start again and when you start your project eventually it will load uh, the code so you see voila now we have our code running and it's it's good but uh, another problem that because I another problem that I found is that I'm using TypeScript and if I go uh, to TypeScript I have the same project here um, you see that uh, it's just everything is TSX uh, I'm actually gonna stop this guy and go to the TS file. This is the the TS config that Cray React app, the new Cray React app that supports uh, TypeScript uh, creates. And you see that I have the node the node path here. Actually, I can just do that, um, like in the other project, but when i run when i do yarn start here you see that it's running react scripts and because this is a typescript project it will run uh that whatever it needs to be run to 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 support typescript uh it's gonna send those files through babel and then it's gonna transpile it and and it's gonna return the code and this is loading so eventually you see that 
uh, we have the same problem, but we we did the same thing as the other the other uh, project using JavaScript. But here with TypeScript, it doesn't know doesn't doesn't find the model. So the way to solve this this thing is to add something in the compiler options here. So I can just add base URL, and that base URL is going to be the root of this project. But because some limitations or some maybe security reasons that type um, correct app uh, uses they remove that base URL from your compiler options because they don't allow it. So you end up in the same place. So how you can solve this? Uh, the way we solve that is to create a new file called tsconfig.base.json. And in this file, I'm just adding the compiler options of with my base URL. And then in the TS config, that is the one that is using React scripts, I will just extend this one with my other uh, TS config, dot base, dot JSON. So now when I have that ready, you see here, uh, TS config dot base at JSON, uh, you have it, you just need to set the base URL and then in the TS config you extend that uh, this config with the other one. So if I do yarn start again, you see that it's complaining about the base URL, but it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna um, remove my file. It's actually it's gonna work. So when this is running, uh, then you see that I can uh, import my files as I'm doing here. You see that I'm exporting the, all the default ones and then in, the, in my root, I'm using a relative here, but in home, that is the page, you see that I'm using source and app. And effectively, I'm, I'm just, I can do the same, but just with a little tweak in um in TypeScript. Uh, so yeah there you have it uh hope this was helpful um i don't know how much time was that but yeah um thank you for listening watching and subscribe uh leave a like uh share um give us comments feedback i don't know if you know that before but i didn't know that before and now i i learned it and i wanted to share it with you guys so uh, guys and girls. So thank you. Uh, see you in the next one.